Hi guys, welcome to my newest video. Thank you for clicking on it. I hope you all are well. Today we are going to do a devotion. The devotion for today is called Judgment Day. Uh, first and foremost, let's go ahead and say a prayer. Jehovah, we come to you first and foremost to thank you for this day. We thank you for all of your many blessings. We thank you for each other. We thank you for the lessons we've learned in our lives to help us to become stronger in our faith and stronger people in general. I'd like to thank you personally for all of the blessings that you have bestowed upon me and my family. I'd like to thank you for the roof over my head, Mike, my friends. Jehovah, I ask that you please watch over those who are struggling right now, whether it be mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Jehovah, please give them the strength that they need to overcome what they're going through and let them use what they are going through as a way of drawing closer to you. I ask that you give extra special love and care and attention to those fighting for their country and their lives in the Ukraine. Please give them the strength that they need to be courageous and to do the right thing. And please watch over their families and the families of all those of the refugees and help them to have courage to get through these next days and weeks and months. I uh, love you so very, very much. Bring this to you in the name of your Son, Christ Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> okay, so today's devotion is called Judgment Day. He stands on the street corner every day, trumpeting a message of warning and doom. The world is going to end soon, he says. You'd better repent now while there's still time. In this reading, Joel sounds like a doom-saying street preacher, but not all of his news is bad. For those who love Jehovah, Joel's message is filled with hope. Jehovah will be gentle with his people. For his enemies, however, it's not too late to repent. So we're going to read Joel chapter 2 verse 28 through chapter 3, verse 21. So let me get my Bible and get there. I hope you all are doing well. And today is Thursday. I hope you all are having a great week so far. Okay, Joel chapter 2, verse 28. After that, I will pour out my spirit on every sort of flesh, and your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams, and your young men will see visions. And even on my male slaves and female slaves, I will pour out my spirit in those days. And I will give wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and columns of smoke. The sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood, before the coming of the great and awe-inspiring day of Jehovah. And everyone who calls the name of Jehovah will be saved. For on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, there will be those who escape just as Jehovah has said, the survivors whom Jehovah calls. Chapter 3 For look, in those days and in that time, when I bring back the captives of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather together all the nations and bring them down to that valley of Jehoshaphat. I will enter into judgment with them there. <clears throat> Lost my place. Hold on. In behalf of my people and my inheritance, Israel, for they scattered them among the nations and they divided up my land among themselves. For my people, they cast lots. They would trade a boy to hire a prostitute and sell a girl for wine to drink. Also, what do you have against me, O Tyre and Sidon and all the regions of Philistia? Are you repaying me for something? If you are repaying me, I will swiftly, speedily bring your repayment on your heads. 
because you have taken my silver and gold, and you have brought my finest treasures into your temples, and the people of Judah and Jerusalem you have sold to the Greeks in order to remove them from their territory. Here I am rousing them to come from the place where you sold them, and I will bring your repayment on your heads. I will sell your sons and daughters into the hand of the people of Judah, and they will sell them to the men of Sheba to a nation far away, for Jehovah himself has spoken it. Proclaim this among the nations. Prepare for war. Stir up the mighty men. Let all the soldiers draw near. Let them advance. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning shears into spears. Let the weak one say, I am powerful. Come and help all you surrounding nations assemble together to that place, O Jehovah. Bring down your powerful ones. Let the nations be roused and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there I will sit in order to judge all the surrounding nations. Thrust in a sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come down and tread, for the winepress is full. The vats overflow, for their badness is abundant. Crowds, crowds are in the valley of the decisions. For the day of Jehovah is near in the valley of decision. Sun and moon will become dark, and the stars will lose their brightness. And Jehovah will roar out of Zion. Out of Jerusalem he will raise his voice, and heaven and earth will rock. But Jehovah will be a refuge for his people, a fortress for the people of Israel. And you will have to know that I am Jehovah your God, residing in Zion, my holy mountain. Jerusalem will become a holy place. And strangers will pass through here no more. In that day, the mountains will drip with sweat. No, not with sweat. <laughs> In that day, the mountains will drip with sweet wine. The hills will flow with milk. And the streams of Judah will all flow with water. Out of the house of Jehovah, a spring will flow. And it will irrigate the valley of Akachia trees. But Egypt will become desolate. And Edom will become a desolate wilderness because of the violence done to the people of Judah, in whose land they shed innocent blood. But Judah will always be inhabited, and Jerusalem to generation after generation. I will consider innocent their blood that I had not considered innocent, and Jehovah will reside in, uh, in Zion. So it says here, it says, Joel's messages included many references to the day of Jehovah, a final day of judgment that still lays in the future. On that final judgment day, every person who has ever lived will face Jehovah. Today, many people don't believe in a final day of judgment. Some even mock the idea pointing to the many doomsayers who have come and gone with their warnings unfulfilled. But we don't disbelieve in medical science because some doctors are quacks. Likewise, we shouldn't disbelieve the Bible's prophecies because of false prophets in the present day. Jehovah has told us that we will be held accountable for our actions, and we will. We need to acknowledge and prepare for that time. To be prepared for the judgment day, live according to Jehovah's word, and tell others of his love for them. Let the coming day of Jehovah motivate you to action. Wow. Kind of fitting for what's going on right now, huh? I did not even mean for that to be that way. Huh. Interesting. All right, well, that is the end of devotions, everybody. I hope that you all got something out of this. Sorry for the mess-ups in my Bible reading. Um, it's been a minute since I've read out loud, so I need to get back into practice with that. Um, I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever and wherever you're watching this. Uh, please remember to keep the Ukraine... Uh, and it's people in your prayers and also pray for those who are struggling around the world. Um, 
never hurts to send out a prayer for someone, even if you uh, might be at odds with them. Um, even if you're at odds with them, just pray that they um, have peace in their life and whatever they're going through, because people aren't normally just um, mean for no reason. There's things that in life that either make them that way or there's struggles and battles that they're going through that make them act or react the way that they do that might be perhaps in a negative way so pray for those people forget don't forget to um, love each other never hate an actual person um, you can hate the things that they do but don't hate the person um, and don't forget that you know uh, bad actions do not make bad people they just make people who do bad things Okay, well, I love you guys, and I appreciate all of your support. Big hugs. Bye.